Hey guys, thank you guys so much for submitting answers to the Phantom Assassin's Lifespan puzzle, aka the PAL puzzle. I had a lot of fun creating the puzzle as well as uh, trying to figure out what the best solution was. So just a brief overview of the PAL puzzle. It's a level 25 Mortred, the Phantom Assassin, taking the fountain uh, with some assumptions involved there. And she is afflicted by an ancient apparition, apparition Ice Blast as well as Doombringer's Doom for the entirety of her time taking the fountain. They are infinite duration and then you, you have 15,000 gold worth of items and you're trying to maximize the time that she can actually tank the fountain so it's an exercise in EHP and trying to maximize the time that you can tank with various damage sources pure damage from doom magical damage from ancient apparition ice blast as well as physical chaos damage from the fountain I did find out that the fountain actually does not do physical chaos damage in the actual Dota 2 it actually does 75% damage not 100% but for the purpose of this one we did a Assume that it did 100% to heroes with chaos damage. Uh, there are some other assumptions, but you can just visit a website. I won't go too much into uh, depth for those. So we got a fair amount of responses, and a few things that you should know is, firstly, Doom actually does damage at the beginning of the cast. So. I proved it with combat logs, Doom, cast Doom, you receive the debuff, and then you immediately take the damage. Whereas Ice Blast happens at the end of every second. So at 5.79, you receive the Frostbitten debuff. We ignore the initial damage because of the assumptions of the uh, puzzle, and then your Ice Blast is going to tick after one second for a damage. So this means that you're always going to have one more damage instance from the Doom as opposed to the Ice Blast. And a lot of people didn't have that into their calculations. So 0.00 seconds, you're gonna take one Fountain Hit as well as one Doom Tick. But going through level 25 stats for PA, 1746 HP, your armor is going to be 17.6, and your evasion is going to be 50%. And then you want to calculate the damage per second that each of these sources are going to do. One from Doom, one from Frostbite, and then the third one is going to be from the Fountain. So Doom is pretty easy, 50 pure damage per second, 50 damage per second. Frostbite damage is 32 magic damage per second, just multiply that figure by three quarters because of magic resistance and you'll get 24 damage per second. Your HP threshold is going to be 12%, that is the Shatter HP threshold for a level three Ancient Apparition Ice Blast. And then there's a lot of formulas for EHP, uh, physical damage raw that you take from Fountain, um, physical damage mitigated, this is just mitigated by armor, and then mitigated by armor as well as evasion. For the purposes of this one, we did evasion is just going to be a source of mitigation, uh, which isn't actually true in Dota 2 because you evade the damage. So one instance you take like 100 damage, the next one you take zero. But for the purpose of this one, we're gonna assume that each damage you take is gonna be like 50 instead of 100 and a zero, just because of the chance factor and for ease of calculation and because we're looking for a very, very specific answer. So if you have 90% uh, evasion, uh, you're gonna take 10% less damage. So next we move on to the items. You have 15,000 gold. There's pretty much two ways of going about it. One is a lot of mitigation and a little bit of HP, or a lot of HP and a little bit of mit mitigation. And after trying it with a few options, uh, three solars seems to be the best use of the majority of your 15,000 gold, and then rounding out the other uh, um, bit of the gold is going to be a heart, a belt, and a branch. So a lot of mitigation, some HP to deal with the uh, Doom and the Frostbite, and then a little bit of HP for your leftover gold. And some people used an ROP in the gauntlet for the remaining 500 gold, and alternatively, you could gone for like a two hearts build, but I will prove why that is inferior relative to the other ones. So, with all these items, you can calculate the stats from HP, armor, evasion. Uh, Solar Crest is 30%, they stack multiplicatively, so you end up with 82.85% evasion, and your armor is very, very high at 47.74.14 from the branch, and then 30 from the Solar Crest. And again, stats for the other item sets are shown on this other side. Uh, so once you calculate all these, you can actually calculate how much physical damage you're gonna take per second after mitigation, and then after mitigation plus evasion. So it's around 336, uh, plug it into the armor formula, uh, which is about, I think, uh, 
75% of it is going to be mitigated, but you have to calculate it per instance. You can't do it, well, technically you can do it per second, but the fountain hits in every 0.15 seconds. So after one second, it's gonna hit at 0.15, 0 0.3, 0 4, 5, 6, 0.75 and 0.9. You're only going to get six hits, six and two thirds. You can't actually calculate the physical DPS as six and two thirds of a second just because what if she shatters at uh, one second? You're going to calculate an extra two thirds of an instance of damage. So you have to calculate it discreetly every 0 0.15 seconds. Your answer should either end in 0 0.15 seconds, sorry, be divisible by 0 0.15 seconds evenly because that's when each fountain hits or at the end of each second, uh, like 1.00, 2.00, because that's when the doom and the frostbite hits. So your answer has to be one of those because those are the only times that you actually take damage. Again, it is not a continuous damage. It is going to be in chunks every X amount of seconds, 0 0.15 in this case. So with this three solar crest, heart, belt, and branch build, you actually take 8.65 for roughly damage per fountain hit per 0 0.15 seconds. And then every second is roughly 50.46, but again, uh, it's not exactly true to that because the damage is discrete, not continuous. So your total damage per second, again, roughly, Doom plus Frostbite plus this term is about 131, and your HP damage to Shatter is around 2586.32. That's just your HP term multiplied by 0 0.88, which is how much damage you need to take in order to Shatter. And theoretical time for continuous damage is going to be 19.639. So a lot of people did give me 19.64, but your answer has to be divisible by 0 0.15 seconds or divisible by 1.00 seconds evenly because of how the damage is done. So to the, to the people who gave me that, unfortunately, the damage is not going to be continuous. So because it is discrete, I calculated the actual damage that you take at every single tick up to the tick where you shatter and one or two ticks after that. So at zero seconds, you take one fountain hit, this 8.65 term, and then 50 damage from the doom. And then at six, 0 0.9 seconds, you take this much damage as well as six more hits from the fountain. That's pretty easy. And then once you roll over to the next second, you take another Doom plus Frostbite hit, so plus 74. So we're sitting around like 184-ish. And then you take another 8.65 from another hit from the fountain. So you end up with 193. And overall, your formula for every... Uh, discrete 0 0.15 seconds is going to be time divided by 0 0.15 plus 1. The 1 is for the initial uh, 0 0.00 second hit, and then you're going to multiply that by however much damage you take uh, per fountain hit, which is the C26 term, the 8.66, and then you're going to add an int times time, so time rounded down to the nearest integer times the uh, 74, which is Doom plus Frostbite damage. And then on top of that, you're gonna add a 50 to the end because that's how much pure damage you take at the very, very beginning. So we're adding one extra tick for the Doom. Uh, every, uh, at the end of every second, you take 74 damage from the Doom and the Frostbite, and then everything else is gonna be the Fountain hit plus an, another one for the very initial one. So calculating all these, it looks like you need 2586 damage to shatter and you will shatter at 19.5 seconds where you take 2589 damage just above the threshold. The one before that is below the threshold so you won't actually shatter then. And after that, it you're, you're already dead. <laughs> and for the ROP build, you actually shattered just a little bit earlier at 19.2 seconds, so two ticks earlier. And for a two heart build, you shatter way before this 19 second mark. You actually take 5687 damage and your HP shatter threshold is about 36. So you're gonna shatter like uh, 11, 12 seconds in. So this is much, much worse at mitigating damage from all three of these sources. So congratulations to the four people with the correct answer of 19.5 seconds. Tremis, Ingus Wolf, Snipoofin, and Oli Shue are the answers are the uh, winners with the correct answers of 19.5 seconds they all showed me their calculations most of them had scripts but that was not forbidden so thank you guys all for submitting uh, you will be in touch with fonts to receive your prizes and i believe we also have some random 
prizes for people who submitted but didn't actually get the right answer. So congratulations to the winner of the Arcana. And thank you guys. I'll try to have more of these puzzles in the future. They're a lot of fun. Thank you guys. Please subscribe at youtube.com slash Dota. Peace out. Have a good one.